What's up, y'all? This is Osiris the PC Pimp. And I got another indie game by for you today by Upper One Games called Never Alone. Never Alone is a very unique game. It's about a little girl named Nuna. And she has a little companion who's a fox. So it's kind of like a a boy and her dog type of story or yeah the game is non-traditional uh because it's a narrative on rails basically uh it's not really like a regular style game uh, you basically just go through the game experiencing this story um you can control nuna or the fox to solve puzzles throughout the game um as you try to find out what the source of the never-ending blizzard is Dual court, the dual character portion of this game is a uh, very excellently done. I can't say that enough. Like usually, when you have a game where one character follows the other and you're in control of what is basically both of them, uh, it usually breaks somehow, some way. Uh, all you have to do is press the Y button on the Xbox controller, or I guess if you use the keyboard, I don't know what the keyboard button is. You just press the uh, button, and you can switch between either character at any given time. You could think of the relationship between Noon and the Fox uh, like the two robots in Portal 2, uh, except for this is not as puzzle driven as Portal 2. This is much more story driven. And, uh, you can also play with a friend in co op mode where one plays as the Fox and one plays as Nuna, which is probably easier, I would think. Because uh, putting the girl in place and, or putting the Fox in place as you try to navigate a puzzle at the same time can sometimes be a little irritating i'll get into that in just a second though the xbox 360 controller did work out the box without no configuring and no nothing everything worked it uh the game worked fine and launched fine and full screen fine everything about the game just kind of just worked uh each character does have unique skill sets though and that's why you would want to switch between the two uh, for example, Nuna can climb ladders, ropes, and move heavy objects and throw throw her bola. Uh, in case you don't know what a bola is, a bola is a weapon with weights on each end that's the connected by a rope of some type. The fox can fit through small areas, climb walls, and jump further than Nuna. Along the way, though, in this game, you'll find just like these random owls chilling out. The owls unlock uh, what's called video insights. The videos are a nice touch because they further explain the story um, that's going on in the game. Um, the video is actually a real live video of Alaska Natives and it's not pre-rendered video uh, or game video. And uh, you're not forced to watch them uh, when you discover them. You'll get a little pop-up saying you discovered a new video, push the back button uh, to watch it. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can always go back and watch them whenever you want to or you can never watch them at all. Um, the requirements for this game are not, I mean, probably plays on a calculator. Only thing you need is a Ubuntu 14.04 or later. It has to be a 64-bit version of Linux. And you need 4 gigs of mem uh, disk storage space. Uh, not really too much. My i5 3570K and my GTX 780 pretty much tore through this game without a hitch. No hiccups, no nothing. The controls in the game usually worked fine though. Uh, I'm guessing that this was not, uh, not a small task, as I said before, considering that you're essentially controlling two characters at once in a single player mode. Uh, I did beat the game, and I can only remember less than one time, or a handful of times actually, where the controls seemed a, bit, a little bit odd to me. Most of these times is where you as Nuna had to jump from one point to another, and when you're trying to get to a very specific place uh, and time it, uh, the, the controls seem what I would describe as soft. Uh, for the puzzles though, most of the time they were easy enough to figure out. There was about eh, maybe two or three times when the game doesn't help you at all and the puzzle did, was completely unintuitive. For example, there's a section where you are supposed to leave the fox up there at the top. As you swing down below on the off, uh, off the arms of these spirits, but nowhere else in the game had this like 
uh, separating the two characters uh, been done before and there was no hint as to what that that's what you're supposed to do so uh, I don't know I thought that was kind of weird just to throw that in there but that didn't happen happen very often but if you do find yourself getting uh, stuck there is an excellent um, video guide on Steam Workshop that will help you out and it's uh, got no spoilers in it so that's that's a good uh, contribution by a Steam community member I will leave the link to that in the description there's really nothing bad I can say about this game this game has like a certain charm about it and I really like how they um, explore the culture of the Alaskan people in a way that's easy to digest and very stylized so it's almost like you're learning about something and not knowing that you're learning about something and that's how anything fun should be it's engaging it, everything works and it shines light, a light on gaming that's really highlighted which is I would say this game is almost educational I know you don't want to hear that when you're talking about games but that's, that's really what it is uh, Never Alone is available on damn near every platform you can think of PS4, Xbox One, Wii U, Nvidia Shield, Windows, Apple, and of course Linux. Uh, as, of, as of this recording on March 21st, 2016, the game is $14.99. And for a few bucks, bucks more, you can get Never Alone Collection, which includes the Foxtails DLC and soundtrack. soundtrack. The, the Foxtail DLC is a separate mini story that is also as well done as the main story. I can't recommend this game enough. You should definitely pick this up. It's an excellent departure from your regular gaming. If you, you know, if you've been playing uh, hours of Insert C, CS:GO, Borderlands, or whatever it is that you're playing, you just want something to, to wind down on. This game is it. If you see it on sale, do not hesitate to pick it up. If you're looking for just something to play, do not hesitate to pick this up. <laughs> but anyways, as usual, this is Osiris. Peace.